Okay, so what we have here is the Acer SBAR1 netbook. This unit um, has a 8.9 inch screen, 1 gig of memory, 160 gig hard drive. Um, it comes with an Intel Atom processor. And it also ships with Windows XP Home Edition pre-installed. Now what we've done just now is that we have put the official beta build of Windows 7 onto this unit. The installation went very smoothly and it's running pretty quick. So we're very impressed by the quality and performance of Windows 7 uh, running even on little netbooks like these. Now one of the best things about these netbooks is that you can just kind of close the lid and you can see that light blinking, it stopped, means it's uh, completed in, sus in suspending, so now it's in low power mode, not really consuming any power at all. But when you kind of flip open the lid, press a button, it comes back on instantaneously. Now not only that, um, in previous versions of Windows, you might have the operating system wake up, but the connectivity wouldn't be there yet, so it's not really usable yet but um, that's all different now with Windows 7. You f wake up, fire up the web browser, and it's immediately usable. So we're very impressed by the performance. Now, while we're here, um, we'd like to also show you a couple of new features from Windows 7. So the first one we're going to show you is called Arrow Peak. So what this is, is that if you have multiple windows open, so let's say we'll open a couple couple more windows from the uh, IE. Go to YouTube and then we'll open one more. And let's say we'll go to everybody's favorite search site. Now, as soon as you have, you know, more than a couple of windows open, then your desktop becomes a little cluttered and it becomes a little harder to navigate. Now what this Arrow Peak feature is, is that it allows you to quickly preview all the different windows that are open by, uh, for that particular application by hovering over that icon. So as you can see, as I hover over that icon, I get a little preview in this particular area. And when I hover over the actual preview, all the windows, other windows are hidden from me so that I can see um, only that particular window. And of course if I click on it, um, you know, I'll be in that particular window right away. Uh, notice that this is also a live preview, which means if I'm actually playing a video in this particular window, the preview will also be playing that window, so it looks pretty cool. Now, uh, another cool feature that we like from Windows 7 is called Arrow Shake. So let's say again you have multiple windows open. Let's say we'll open another, uh, we'll start Office or Word. We can grab this window and just shake it to hide all the other windows. So now we have a single window that we can focus on working on. Now we can get back to the original state by grabbing this window and shaking it again. So all the other windows will come back. So it's pretty neat. Now. Um, some people, for example, like to dock two windows side by side. Uh, so, for example, so you can do this by just grabbing the window and pushing it to the left, and then grabbing the other window and pushing it to the right. So now, let's say uh, you can work with both windows side by side. Now, you can also maximize the window by grabbing it and pushing it up top um, and releasing and the window will be maximized. So that's pretty neat. Um, and finally, the last feature we want to show you is that you can hover to the uh, bottom right of, the, of your desktop to kind of temporarily hide all the windows and see your desktop. And if you can hover away from it to get back to your original state. So overall, we're very impressed by the performance and the features and the enhancements that Microsoft has made to Windows 7. Uh, considering this is a beta release, uh, we are especially impressed. So we're really looking forward to the final release um, of, of Windows 7. Thank you for watching this video from Scratchboard.com.